the sun start up in uh, Fairbanks and it come north, it come go south. So you're traveling all the way to Fairbanks? We're doing what they call the
I was just taking, I was taking a picture of the sign. Oh. <laughs> the first time I saw it was blocked off. Do you know how long it's been like this? Uh, since the last hurricane. Yeah. Yeah. Really? It's been a while since, since I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So when was it? Was it, was it daily or was it here? Uh, oh, daily was probably. Yeah, when you were here, 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 Yeah, yeah, we're in Grand Hall, I'm almost, almost about to go uh, We're on just about the river road. Okay, you're Yeah, a little bit to the north. <laughs> 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 well, same. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, we 
Well, I love Sunset Lady. Oh, hello there, Blackie. What is on your mind? Well, I shall tell you in a moment here. Yeah. Okay, we got a good gang here out here. Happy Friday night from Venice, Florida here at South Jetty. Really, really good gang out here. There was a lot of people. I mean, there still of is. All over the place now. We'll have them for the Afterglow show. Well, tomorrow is National Pineapple Upside Down Cake. Now your father used to love pineapple upside down cake, but that was not one of my favorites. So I didn't make, I made it rarely. I don't remember, I love it too. Oh, okay. You and your father took after him. Sugar and pineapples, what's not to like? I know, I don't know why I didn't. I Maybe it's not fun it was, to make. It was the flavor, <laughs> no, it was the flavoring. Somehow I didn't like the combination, I guess. Okay, to, tomorrow is record store day. If people like to buy, I don't know, they still buy records. They might. Yes, they do. Oh, Taylor Swift just came out with a double record today, so they'll be out there buying records. Yeah, answer your question. Okay, today is humorous day. Well, we try to do that every day, and it's John Parker Day. And it's, John Parker, like as in Spider Man? Uh, no, he was uh, back in the Revolutionary days. He was the one that said. Uh, don't fire first to the about the British. So we're not talking about the web slinger. No, and okay. I was thinking there. I was wondering if it was a John Parker and Buckaroo Bonsai. I think this is one of those names you hear it. <laughs> was he one of the ones? It could be John Parker. That uh, name it could sound be. Familiar. I don't know. I don't <laughs> Maybe know. he was a relative. Fact checkers. Okay, it's also Na National North Dakota Day uh, today, and oh, about North Dakota, uh, they were. They were the 39th state, and South Dakota became a state, I think, on the same day. So one was 39, uh, South Dakota. North Dakota was 39, South Dakota was 40, I guess. They both did it on the same day. Okay, National uh, Poker Day, and Poetry and the Creative Mind Day. Okay, now we're going to Famous Birthdays, 1935, Dudley Moore. Actor, he was in the movie Ten, and he was once married to Tuesday Well. I can't remember that one. Okay, and he's also a musician. He had a, a trio, a musical trio in the in the sixties. He's think. a brilliant musician. Yeah. yeah, he played piano. Brilliant, brilliant musician. I think they said he took after Errol Garner too. He he 
he captured all that he did. 1968, Ashley Judd, actress and a relative of Naomi and Winona Judd. In 1937, Eleanor Donahue was an actress and she played the daughter Betty Anderson in Father Knows Best when she was younger and then when she was older she was on the Andy Griffith Show. And here's our person tonight on her birthday. Dudley Moore. Dudley Moore in 10. That was Bo Derrick, I think. She was the 10. Uh, she, she was the 10. She was the 10 in the movie. But as, as, a, as a musician, no, he really, and a comedian, Dudley Moore, I mean, yeah, uh, very, 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 I don't know, is he a Sir Dudley Moore? Probably. Uh, he, he's probably up there. He is, who knows. If not, he probably should have been. Okay, and the quotes tonight are from Dudley Moore. There we go. There we go, that's right. He said, the best car safety device is a rear view mirror with a cop in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's very true, very factual. <laughs> he also said music is the surest way of reaching someone someone else's heart. That's true. And he said, I wish I had a dime for every dime I have. <laughs> and now, uh, that's funny. I, I wish I had a dime too. <laughs> I think I need a dime, that's my problem. <laughs> okay. Oh, and also today, I don't know if, I think I forgot to say, National Hanging Out Your Clothes, Hanging Your Clothes Out Day. There you go. Oh, there was nothing. I used to always, when I was, we were way back when. Illegal in many cities nowadays. Yeah, well, I used to hang them up, and they would so, smell so fresh in the air. Oh, Not in a city. They tried to, <laughs> no, I wasn't. I, was I know, on, I'm joking. I was on Martha's Vineyard, and that, you can't get better than that. Okay, now we're... My jokes are about laundry tonight. Here we go. The hanging out the clothes. Okay, what kind of humor does laundry like? Clean humor. Well, that's one answer. They said they like dry humor, <laughs> and so do I. I love dry humor. <laughs> My grandfather, oh, he had that Scottish sense of humor. I love that. Why did the dry cleaner quit her job? That's a good question. I don't know. Well, because it became too depressing for her. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that I need to find a way to finish my laundry? Oh, isn't there a product called finish? Or no, that's for dishwashing. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I start off okay, but halfway through I always throw in the towel. <laughs> <laughs> Why are poker players good at doing laundry? Well, poker players, laundry, I have no idea. Because they all know how to fold. <laughs> all right in front of me, correct. <laughs> Yeah, very factual. Okay, what happened to the leopard that fell in the washing machine? He changed his spots? Well, you're close. The answer they gave us, well, he came out spotless. He came out spotless. <laughs> know what happened today when I accidentally put my wallet in the washing machine? That happens, actually. Yeah, you laundered your own money. Well, that you're very close. Well... I suppose now I'm a money launderer. Yeah, correct. Because you laundered your own money. <laughs> now, what do you call it when you put syrup instead of soap in the washing machine? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, then, Please tell. Well, well, then it becomes a vicious cycle. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> know what happened when I found $100 in the laundry? Uh, you jumped up. Down for joy, went to the gas station and bought scratch tickets. Well, I probably, that would have happened. That's a good answer. <laughs> but the one, the one they had was, well, it became my rags to riches story. Rags to riches. <laughs> oh, I wish I could do that. I'm going to go check the laundry when I get it's, home. It's amazing how finding a $100 bill can make you day. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, what's a laundry machine's favorite chocolate? Oh. Pass. They said lint. The L I. Yeah, yeah, with the D. N D T. Yeah, lint. Yeah, uh, lint. Lint. Why <laughs> is running a laundromat complicated? I don't know. I never ran one. Well, because there are a lot of details to iron out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it when you almost forget your laundry? Well, almost forgetting means you didn't forget it. So I'm thank God you you remembered. Well, yeah. And so they gave was, it becomes, then it becomes a closed call. Because <laughs> you remember. Yeah. A closed call. 
Close call. Close call. <laughs> we got it. We got uh, it. Know what happens when my dad just dropped his laundry everywhere? Oh, no. That sounds like a catastrophe. I don't know what happened. Well, then I watched it all unfold before me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just how much fun is doing your laundry? Well, it depends. Uh, I mean, sometimes it can be a chore. Sometimes it actually can be, you know, fun. Well, Looking answer, forward to having fresh, clean sheets, you know? Yeah. Well, the answer they gave was loads. <laughs> loads? <laughs> loads of fun. <laughs> how do you dry... I like this one. How do you dry clothes on a line in winter? Freeze dry them. Bingo. Uh, you freeze, freeze dry them. Freeze dry <laughs> laundry. <laughs> okay, now we're down to our favorite here. Chuck Norris, the man, the myth, the legend. And here we go with him and laundry. Okay. Just why doesn't Chuck Norris do laundry? Well, all his clothes clean themselves out of respect for Chuck Norris. <laughs> Only check with him. Have <laughs> hey, awesome sunset. Hey, we got the, uh, the sail of Venice coming in right now. Perfect, perfect ending. Perfect timing. For a lovely, lovely heaven, heavenly sunset again here today. I'm Blackie Fitzpatrick signing off. Over to you, Sunset Lady. Why, thank you, Blackie. And, oh, we want to thank Waxing for the super chat. That was wonderful, Waxing. That helps us along the way. And we want to thank everyone for sharing tonight's heavenly sunset and the Afterglow show. And we know that no two sunsets are the same, so come back tomorrow night, rain or shine, and you'll see just what's happening if you were here with us at the South Jetty in Venice, Florida, live. And you'll be able to do it right from the comfort of your own location, wherever you are. Also, if you enjoy our channel, you can help us grow by subscribing, hitting the like button, and becoming a member of the Sunset family. Also, please leave a comment. We, we'd appreciate that. That's wonderful if you do that. Uh, also, we'd love you to help us spread the sunshine by sharing these sunsets with your family and friends or to anyone that might enjoy a mini Florida vacation and a positive view for their day. So uh, until tomorrow, I'll say good night, Blackie, and sweet dreams for our sunset family all around the world. And as we play your song, our theme song called Running Around This Town, I'll say goodnight from Sunset Lady.